It is Election Day 2016. It is November in Boise, and the temperature is in the 60s, close to 70 degrees in some areas. Shorts and T-shirts on tap for this Election Day. However, don't be deceived, because I believe it is going to be a very cold, wintry weather here in the Treasure Valley. As a matter of fact, in 10 days, the foothills behind me could be covered with going in after next Wednesday. And with that purple air expanding back to the west around Alaska, we could be looking at some tremendously colder air in the region. I like my forecast. It is still holding, uh, I think, true. And that means it's going to be very nasty for you at home. I'm going to break it down as best as I can at this point. And um, as you can see, there's some snow in the foothills, but this is going to be a blanket of white across the Treasure Valley, I think, for the remainder of this year, and perhaps right on into maybe even Groundhog's Day. There's that I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby. The weather show is underway. The snowstorm is underway. Snow started flying around 11 o'clock in the morning, and it took a matter of, what, 15 minutes for it to start to stick to the roadways and make things slick. I'm on State Street, my securities gold and silver exchange. We thank them so much. They even gave me a little ruler to help measure fallen. the snow. I am noticing that we're starting to see some bigger snowflakes start to fall here in the shot. That's usually an indication that we're going to start to see a mix or change to rain. But with this cold air in place and very little wind, that's the key. Uh, we're not going to see a changeover to rain anytime soon. We've probably got three to four more hours at least of some snow to fall uh, in the Treasure Valley. People are walking around the city tonight and enjoying the beautiful Christmas-like scene, and it is gorgeous down here in front of the Capitol. All right, well, what's coming up? What's coming up is a lot of cold air. After this moves through, uh, even tomorrow after the precipitation, we are going to see a chance for some Arctic air to move in. We're talking temperatures below zero in the overnight hours and daytime highs in the teens to maybe the near 20 in the Pretty Georgia good, Valley. but the back roads, Meridian, uh, Boise, all the back roads packed down ice, and everything is going to be rock solid for several days. The overnight low temperature tonight down near zero, tomorrow night below zero. It is Thursday, January 5th. I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby with a weather show update. We are looking at a very dangerous situation on top of the already dangerous situation with the snowfall over the past couple of days. Clothesline Cleaners, one of the great businesses in the Treasure Valley. For 36 years, they have never suspended their delivery system. They have suspended it today. They're suspending it again tomorrow because of the icy roads and the dangerous conditions that are in the back roads of the Treasure Valley. This storm system is not done yet. This is just the beginning, folks. I have covered weather for 30 years. I've worked for the Weather Channel. I've covered storms like Andrew, the Superstorm, the Storm of the Century. I've seen tremendous impacts from weather. In the Treasure Valley, after being here for 16 years, I have never seen a more dangerous uh, scenario shaping up. On top of all the record snows we have, on top of all the cold air that's now in place or starting to get in place, I still think the most dangerous part of this overall weather pattern here in the early stages of the new year is yet to come. And the reason is, is because the cold air is in place and another system's going to come on top of it and throw moisture on top of it. So, all right. Freezing rain and heavy ice. This is where I think everything's going to come to a, a climax and we're going to start feeling the effects of it. Uh, the reason I believe this is because that warm air is going to override the cold air. The cold air is down to the surface. We're going to see it all. We're going to see snow. We're going to see sleet. And then we're going to see, I think, extensive freezing rain. A quarter of an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch of ice is going to build up on trees, power lines. Now note, 
Everybody can see the winter wonderland that's out there. There's a lot of weight on the trees and power lines already. You throw ice on top of that, things are going to snap very quickly. Carports, roofs, all that heavy weight, that's going to provide some collapses out there. So I'm treating this as if one of two of you out there are going to uh, have catastrophic things happen to you. Um, and so that's the kind of um, attention I want to bring this. Let's take this serious, folks. Let's plan as if. Uh, if there's any situation uh, where you want to be safe, then sorry, this is it. This is the situation. Flashlights, matches, and candles. I went and got mine today. Generators, if possible, and blankets in case the power goes off and you are somebody who is a day or two or maybe more without uh, power um, across the region. Remember, think safety first. All right, uh, uh, some tips here. Here's the safety tips I was talking about. Learn uh, what hypothermia is about, okay? Your body gets cold enough, you will die. Gas up the vehicle, clear snow off your roofs tomorrow going into Saturday morning, uh, maybe carports, get that heavy snow off because when the heavy ice starts to accumulate on top of that, the weight is going to be incredible over that area and uh, the structures are not going to be able to handle it. They're going to come down. Snow continues to fall, an epic snowstorm. Talking to my friends over the National Weather Service, who did a wonderful job, by the way, with this, issuing the winter storm warning for snow right on the money. Good job to everybody who canceled school today and did all those wonderful things. Um, of course, the roads, that's the story. You can see the Meridian Fire Department, the Boise Fire Department, uh, right behind me going to another accident. Here they come through the intersection. The flashers just went on, and uh, you'll see them heading on down to probably another wreck. Um, speaking of the Boise Fire Department, Chief Dennis Doan has did a wonderful job posting, you know, the fire hydrants are buried under snow. We need to dig those fire hydrants out. So if you see a fire hydrant in your neighborhood, you want to do a good uh, deed, go dig out that fire hydrant for the police and the fire department, especially if there's a fire, last thing they need to be doing is, you know, locating a fire hydrant. Remember, these main roads and arteries are doing fairly decent. A lot of slush on the roads, but the side roads and back roads are horrendous. All right, about the snow. Heavy bands of snow going down towards Mountain Home. It is ridiculous right now on the interstate south and east of Boise. Uh, probably an inch to an inch and a half an hour falling in that little band of snow. It's on the radar. It looks like a thin, long line of yellow sliding towards the east. Uh, back across the west, the snow continues to fall in abundance from eastern Oregon all the way back through the west end of the valley. So As a meteorologist in Boise, one of the things I wanted to kick off my bucket list is throwing the hot boiling water into Arctic air. Yep, temperatures below zero, throwing up the hot water and making instant snow. Here we go. <laughs> That's amazing. All the hot water goes up, turns into snow instantly. Just a few drops of water coming on down. Hey, tell your friends and family to watch The Weather Show with Vin Crosby here on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, share on Facebook, share on Twitter. 
It's a whole new weather world. Uh, updates on this critical, crippling storm that could be coming on through with snow, freezing rain, power outages coming up.